Let's clarify that King of Pentacles spirit from the recent reading that you just had. It's in the video bar if you want to check it out. Um, the King of Pentacles is a person that I keep seeing in Libra readings quite a bit. And it could even be you actually with your stability, with your healed self. Maybe you want to give too. You're able to give out now that you're the King of Pentacles and you've grown as well. So of course, take the card for what it means for you today. We're just going to go through clarification and see what comes out. So for this particular Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn card, what do we get out of it? What do we possibly get? And also, if you have cards at home, please draw with me. You might get a similar answer or you might get similar themes. So if you do have a card deck at home, um, you can go ahead and clarify and see what you get. We have the Ten of Cups, the Emperor. Okay, this person's ready for family. This person is ready to build as the emperor and conquer maybe you as their person. Um, they're showing up as an Aries figure, but overall it's just an emperor card. It's somebody who's take charge. Um, they own the kingdom that they're in. They're also learning to expand on new horizons. The emperor doesn't stop conquering. So uh, they could be a father too. Some of you could be looking into dating someone who already has kids. Um, I see here in this love reading that the Ten of Cups also wants to be accomplished by this person. They want to feel the rainbow in the back of this family setting. And it's interesting that it's the Ten of Cups the first time out. It's really, really interesting that it's emotions. I feel like, to, let's just check the bottom of the deck. The King of Pentacles clarifies the King of Pentacles. I'm going to show you an interesting relationship here. I'm just going to move my light over. These two guys are clarifying... Um, a stable environment that this person really, really wants. I feel like in their heart space, they are ready for family. So if this is you, this could be a long time coming. It could be a dream. It's a wish fulfillment of yours also. That's how it's looking on the table. And you're ready to conquer something that involves stability with another person. This person equally is looking at you like you have the secret sauce to what they've been looking for. Um, they could be an earth sign, but I also have a lot of water. The emperor presents fire. So let's just keep going on where he goes. The king of pentacles is the four of pentacles. They have resources, but they're holding on to it. Um, hardworking is also Capricorn. The four of pentacles under the light of communication like Gemini and Jupiter is showing us that there is a stable individual that can keep themselves together. Um, I feel like there's some things that this person is protecting from your view, maybe not time for you to know about yet, but they're presenting themselves as new love, Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is definitely a new beginning of romance. It talks about your cup spilleth over. And this is an exciting time for Libras that are looking for this, because if you're manifesting new love, there's a wish fulfillment opportunity in someone around you. This person, the King of Pentacles, has... I feel like they have a structured sense of their day. They also come home and family matters. So there is something to the tune of that. I just want to let you know. Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. That is the most beautiful Ace of Cups I've seen in a while. Although it's sort of darkish, you know, the card has a tint of an opportunity that wants to find you. There's also opportunity with new relationships, period. The Ace of Cups is just a new beginning in that. So let's see what they feel. What is the King of Pentacles from the last reading feel? <laughs> the Empress. And I'm going to show you something really, really cute, funny, humorous at the end of the shuffle. If you guys saw my last camera shuffle was the Empress. So you have it twice here today, which means they're in love with an Empress's ways. Um, they see you for who you are too. And they love the beauty of figuring that out. I see that they're looking at you as their main reason here. We asked the tarot and the new cup could be presented to you sooner than you think. Uh, for most of you that are talking to a new person, I'm getting a download. They definitely want to show the stability first off, you know, um, replying to you in a certain way. Being very cordial is another way you could look at it. And I think they want to treat you the way that you deserve because the Empress, you know, if you look at a feminine that way, the cards are popping out that way. They're definitely respecting your time. Um, you're very valued already to this person and they just want to take care of you. They realize you've been doing it alone and coupling it with their emperorship. Do you see the relationship of the two cards? Especially when it's like 
a divine soul union. We have the emperor and the empress in your reading, and they're coming out in two different decks as their feelings for you. The last one on the shuffle here as a flip in the second video. So I think that's interesting. It's a little different. Um, and I feel like we haven't seen that energy come around since I think last year in December. This is the type of energy that you want to see from a healed collective and a healed perspective. Um, the Four of Pentacles is that talking about something from the past. Thank you. One card wants to slip out. Queen of Cups. This person could be Cancerian. There's a, a lot of fire, a lot of pentacles, and water. So those elements could be in their chart somewhere. Queen of Cups is about caring for someone. Okay. Queen of Cups is nurturing. If you look at cancer signs, they're all about mother, the home, uh, bringing people together, and shelter. That's their thing. So I think that they are very intrigued to care for an empress who has done this a long time by herself. And also the by yourself part is the independence she's learned through the chapters. Um, they're adjusting to how lively you are. Uh, maybe they haven't seen this in a while. Maybe they see a pertinent glow in your skin. So they're very attracted to you. I feel like somebody saw you walking too. I'm getting a channel about they saw you at first walking. Okay, and I see an open space and that's the first time that they caught a glimpse of you. It's very special because this person wants to offer a Cancerian Queen of Cups to you. I feel like this is going toward you instead of you being the Queen of Cups. Interesting that for many weeks as well, the King and Queen of Cups used to be the old story. I feel like this is what somebody wants to return to you, all of that love that you pour back. Um, and they want to learn from maybe your psychic abilities. There's something about your gifts. There's something about the clairs that you have. If you're clairaudient, this person wants to learn how you were gifted with that. They're really intrigued with your spiritual gifts from the Ten of Cups to the Queen of Cups. This is somebody that's been filling their cup over and over again, okay? Being their own wish fulfillment and their own strength. Um, the King of Pentacles might want to start a family with you because this is a family card and it came out first few clarifiers for that King of Pentacles. So that's, um, I feel like that's a point to be said in this video. It's also very technical when you look at the cards, you look down and there's a King of Pentacles going towards somebody that they want to offer a lot of nurturing towards. I feel like they want to be caring toward you. That's one of the first few steps. In the future, what's the likely outcome of the King of Pentacles relationship with the Empress? We have the Nine of Pentacles continuing to watch you grow, okay? Maybe some of you have started a business. Um, I also feel like you're open to collaborations, but you've been in a prime spot to keep being independent as well. Uh, working on your monetary is there. That's definitely a financial card today. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're going to see that throughout the week in like little clumps. Uh, the World card is also here. If you like it, it's a closure that definitely, um, it has a tone to it. Like the World card feels very final as I read it this morning. Many of you could have really closed out a painful chapter with someone that did you no good. Um, they're still resonant with you in the Six of Cups, but I also think that they're missing stems from closing it out themselves the realizations, the epiphanies, uh, they're always going to love you type of thing. So this is about your relationship now to source working alone. And I feel like it's time for co-creation. That's a big part of even this read is co-creating with a um, an open source and a light for you, for both of you to share into something magical, pour back into something new. And we also have the full card. I think it was also in the last reading as a beginning card, I might be wrong, but I saw the fool in the viewfinder and Aries is here. It's still really rigid. You might feel resonances of it leaving as we're going into that Gemini spirit, but the fool card just says you're ready. You've been ready for this new beginning for some time. You're already equipped in the nine of pentacles. I think how this flows into real life is that the rewards look like they match this time around. They're coming back to you in full circle. They're showing up in the health of your body. They're showing up in your skin. And I also feel like you're reaping rewards from that physical financial rewards that are coming to you. This is overt abundance. And many of you are more proud of it because it's worked through this time. Other chapters, it's been like, I'll put that on the back burner. I'll work on it later. But now there's physical proof. 
So I see this as um, maybe health focuses, many of you working on your fitness, um, arranging appointments to go to the doctors. There's something about like overall health in this reading. And then it's clarified by a journey that you've just recently started. And it feels good to end that world card. This was probably massively strange for you to go through and maybe even work through it. You know, you slid through it and you actually made the right decision to get out of it. This full card is to clarify that it's over. This is also an it's over card and we're heading into the doorway of what that is. I want to look into the possibilities of what's there to be offered for you or what kind of cards show up for the fool. Let's get some stamped, um, let's get some new cards. Let's see if we can draw some out. I feel like it's ready. We have the Nine of Pentacles again. We have the Two of Swords. All right, so it's partially still open, that last door. And you know what I get? The Two of Swords is about a crossover. It's realizing that the crossroads is making you a Nine of Pentacles person. I just want to say that because it's Nine of Pentacles, several spots throughout your reading. And then we have a Five of Swords closing the door on pain. Uh, there could have been an individual too that never really vibed with you and you just put up with it for a very long time. These are my cards for putting up with it. And the Nine of Pentacles is you finally living in this sunlight moment. If you look in the back of the Empress card too, it's about watching the sunsets go down now without worries and anxieties. There could be some things left over here from relationships or saying goodbye to friendships. That's also something that I pick up, but your independence is leading you down that full card. And um, I want to describe that because I've actually experienced that as a person. I've seen it in person. And it looks like new opportunities. It also looks like a new relationship could be here for you, even if it's grounded down in a platonic relationship. And we go from the Nine of Pentacles to the Fool card. I will give a reading in the mid-afternoon about maybe some of the changed energies. We will also look at the Empress and see what she's up to. Um, and I will do that in the mid-afternoon as a surprise. So I will see you guys later. The Magician is at the bottom of the deck with more Mercury communication with Gemini and Virgo and the Three of Cups. So again, social invitations and there's that Wheel of Fortune. So it went the Magician, the Three of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Times are about to change and that's the card for it.